Yeah, Merrill Tower, transfer on the 150 with you on the RNAV Alpha. Transfer on 150, Merrill Tower, Roger, continue inbound, RNAV Alpha, expect to land runway 25. Uh, you can uh, expect to be in fog, pretty much your whole descent, and then uh, once you get to the airport, it breaks completely open. Oh yeah, transfer on the uh, 150. We'll continue on that. Yeah, it should be wide open. I got the tower inside already. Takeoff and landing are the most critical parts of flying. I gotta think within seconds. I try to seem, you know, extremely relaxed. Especially in Alaska, like the, the weather can change within seconds. And I think if you have your instrument rating, that can help, that can save your life. You learn to fly without looking out the windows. And then that's how you land and you, you fly the aircraft down to, you know, 200 feet and then all of a sudden, you know, the airport's there. I'm Andrew Burke. I'm a first officer at Alaska Central Express. Mike Burke, president of Alaska Central Express. I started my flying career flying 207s at St. Mary's, Alaska, 60 miles from the mouth of the Yukon River. Started with going with my dad and his planes, not telling my mom about it. Kept growing, he just kept embedding it in my mind. A week later, I went down to Mesa, Arizona at a flight school and pounded out my commercial within two weeks. I was on a jet back that night, and the next day I was working, I was in the ground school at Ace. Variable at three runway seven at Charlie Cliff takeoff. A climbing right turn is approved. Uh, most aircraft have been able to get out. The only way to get around Alaska is by aircraft in mountains, the glaciers, the rivers, the lakes. The scenery, I mean, it's like no other. There's some fear, like there's with weather, or airports, and whatever, but I think if you have enough adequate training, it counteracts it. There's no place like home. Alaska is one of a kind. Okay, we'll use caution and 